Welcome back my students, Dr. Ugwe here. This is the video 6th from the playlist of diagrams and today our topic is going to be boundaries of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. This diagram is given in the BDC. You can look at figure 9.8. Very simple diagram. Let's try to learn how to draw this diagram. So let's begin. From the previous lectures, we know what a lateral ventricle is and what is the structure of the lateral ventricle. So this is the lateral ventricle. This part of the lateral ventricle, this part right here, the shaded part is the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. Clear? Now we will try to learn the diagram of the boundaries of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. For that, first we will draw a line like this, then another line like this. We will join the endpoints of these lines like D shape like D then we'll make a structure like this that will follow the D clear now we'll make another structure like this and now we'll make another structure like this clear we can also color these three structures now we have to draw two more structures one a circle like here and another structure like this so this is our Rukaya diagram now we will name the different parts in it this part right here this is the cavity of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle this part right here, the circular part, is called the forceps major. This part right here is called the calcarine sulcus. And this part right here is calcareus. This part right here is the tapetum. This part right here is the optic radiation. So this is the tapetum. This part right here. And this part right here is optic radiation. And this part right here is inferior longitudinal fasciculus so this part right here is inferior longitudinal fasciculus now we should note two more points this forceps major and calcareus which is formed because of the anterior part of the calcarine sulcus so forceps major and calcarine sulcus and calcareus forceps major and calcareus these form the floor floor and medial wall medial wall so forceps major and calcar avis form the floor and the medial wall of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle similarly this tapetum and optic radiation tapetum and optic radiation these form the roof and lateral wall and lateral wall of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle from the previous lectures we know the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle lies behind the splenium of the corpus callosum and extends into the occipital lobe thank you